It's an excuse. Okay, you're talking about Valentine. Okay, that aside, how about your own uh, marriage anniversary? Okay. Eh? Who does that? Not okay. Even if you are in a mission or you are out there for the pastoral work or whatsoever, at least you can put a call and call, okay, babe, sorry, you know I'm this, this, okay, I'm sending you gifts. At least do something. Something must be present. When it comes to the other room. I'm very good at that. But now um, three times a year, be four times a year. Hey, yo, what's up, my people? It's your boy, Mr. Proxy. As you all know the truth and nothing but the truth. Firstly, I want to thank you guys as usual for liking, commenting, and sharing my video. As you can see, I'm out here once again to help people add their problem on my platform so as you guys can be of help with your advice or opinion. So I have with me a very young man. He's a pastor in the in the ministry. He said he has something that has been bothering him that he wants to voice it out. He can no longer keep it to himself again. He want the public to be of help to him. That is why he's here to share his own problem on my platform, so you guys can be of help to him. Pastor, you are before my audience. Can you tell my audience? Tell us what is that thing that is bothering you, or that has been bothering you that you want my people to hear and to be of help to you? Okay. My wife is the main him that I'm here. Wow. My wife, and you and you and I know that uh, the closest person when you're an adult. The closest person you have to connect with is your wife. You have to settle down with her before any other thing. But uh, she's um, doing that thing. But recently, everything has changed. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But um, I think I might know it because of this Valentine issue. Wow. Yes, I promised her that I would take her for Valentine. That was last year. And I didn't fulfill my promise. Uh, you and I know that we are very busy uh, when it comes to chances and all these times because God can speak to you anytime, any day. A lot of th uh, things came up to my table and my head pastors, they called me and they complained about it. So I'm the head of, um, I'm the head of the branch here. So they told me that my organization is liquidating in the sense that the people are no longer active there. Okay. So I have to make sure my absence is beyond that place. I have to be active there. So, and also to make God to be proud of me. Like, yes, this is really my servant, all this thing. But I put my family too, but I have to put God first. You know, I'm, I'm, a, God, I'm a godly kind. I help people around. I will not only help my wife, but I will help her too. But not as, I, I have to obey the God first. So, boss, uh, Pastor, are you trying to tell me that uh, uh, your wife is threatening you or your wife is trying to divorce you because of your inability to fulfill your promise, your Valentine promise to her previous year, or because you are trying to give another excuse for the forthcoming Valentine? Is that why she is threatening to divorce you? I don't understand. Can you just go straight to the point? Yes. Okay, but the only thing I did was that the Valentine. I promised her and she said she wanted to go for Valentine. I said, no problem. If Valentine, I will take you out. But that very day, I was uh, busy. People were calling me for deliverance and other things. So I have to go. When I go and I come back, it's too late. And she was fragging her face and I told her that no problem. If that is the case, I will at least provide a very special day for two of us to go outside. And I said, no, she don't like it. She want she, she, she want she want to go out for that very Valentine Day. Okay. Oh, I said, wow, what is going on? And I promised her this year again, but it seems I will still have another this thing. The, like we are looking, they, they are still going to need me for another uh, conventions, so I don't have chance. Okay, Pastor, uh, what we are going to do? Uh, not to prolong the whole talk. Let me see. I can invite your wife over here. Or we'll give her address where she come and meet us. Uh, we give so that we number. can let me also ask her. Let me know our own side of the house too, because issues like this can uh, really lead to something else. You know, as you stray many homes out there, and my people are there watching you, understand? Okay. And they've heard from you, they've heard your own side of the story. And I would like to also hear from the other party, which is your wife. Because okay. your wife cannot just conclude that she wants to file a divorce against you ordinarily because you are unable to fulfill your promise of Valentine. Or taking her out of which you can schedule any day to do that but let's just wait and hear from my own story before i draw conclusions
okay guys finally we were able to put a call across to his wife she says she's on her way coming so let's just wait and hear from our own side of the own story i don't like drawing conclusion for one sided story so i had to invite her uh pastor francis you just have to be patient with with your thing no problem no problem is that is that your wife uh, yes is she the one yes the one. uh madam you're welcome afternoon. afternoon madam i was only invited you here i called you regarding issue at hand a very serious one i, I guess you must have figured out what is going on here, seeing your husband beside me no not really not really your husband told me that uh, you have been threatening him with divorce cases because he failed to fulfill a promise to you Madam, why are you trying to file a case or file a divorce case against your husband? Francis, you don't reach this level. Now that to carry out matter, come outside of me. Eh? Who shall be can you see? It? See where it's not So now me next. and you now not to resolve our issues. It's Family not follow. Now that outside public, everybody may they know. Eh? So you know if you undo your house, my tongue, 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 to the point you don't bring her come outside. Okay. If that's what you want, no one. Madam, eh, I, I didn't call you here to come and call you or to come and have a word exchange with your husband. I called you here to resolve issues between you and your husband. Okay. Your husband told me this particular issue and um, I, I, it's, it's worrisome for me to hear pastor complaining about uh, divorce cases. Please, madam, can you tell me your whole side of the story? What it happen? Why are you treating your husband with divorce case? Eh? Is it that you don't love your husband? What is going on? <laughs> this is not only just threat to. I promised him, like I promised him, I will serve him paper. You mean you divorce promised papers. your husband? Yes, I promised him. He's not lying about it. That is the truth. I said I was serving divorce papers, but he has not said the old story. So what is the old story here? Yeah? Well, that's why we invited because Tell us the story. Tell us what happened. just wake up one morning and serve you divorce paper or threaten to serve you divorce paper just like that without you doing anything. Does, does that make sense? Okay. I understand the fact that I got married to a pastor. I'm not disputing that fact. Okay. And I respect his calling. And I've been so, so supportive from day one before I even got married. And suddenly now, it's like the whole mission thing is not the number one priority like in the family. You have a wife now. You have responsibility. People are looking up to you. At least pay me a little attention. No, I'm not saying you should overdo it or anything. At least show me love and care. For the past three good years now, I can't even recognize my husband anymore. I'm just in the house, like furniture. It doesn't come to the inner room. Oh yeah, perform your match perform your duty, the, the basic one, the, the number one one. Like if they want to call about duties of your husband, that first one. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. And I don't want a situation whereby maybe church members now telling him stories like eh, i saw your wife in one hotel she was with this person and that no i'm avoiding all those things understand i don't want to go outside my marriage so, uh, so madam eh, are you trying to say that it's because it's his inability to perform in the other room you have been giving me excuses what mean is a uh, deliver service today i'm going to anisha no we have a uh, conference meeting for tacot i'm going to this community to go and conduct deliverance this one waiting now only be pastor uh, Pastor Francis, uh, uh -uh. I, I hope you heard what she said. Is it true that uh, you have been giving her excuses for not performing well in the other room or for not even attempting to perform in the other room as a pastor? Oh, you are using the pastoral field to excuse yourself from your responsibility? I don't understand. Talk. Uh, like I said, I never run away from responsibility. And uh, also, I, I treat her well uh, when it comes to the other room. I'm very good at that, but now uh, you three times a year, be four times a year. Because uh, you know, I'm a pastor. Uh, God can call me anytime, any day. Like, come and do so 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 preaching in the other town. Come and do the other town convention meeting, like you like you said. Uh, is uh, that one is true? You can come if 
if he calls you, who are you to disobey him? You have to obey the God. Eh? Nobody is perfect. I know. But I have to obey my God first. Obey, obey. I understand that. We are I understand not saying you obey God. You know I that fully you understand that. And you don't have... Uh, uh, you plan your activities. I'm a pastor. Uh -huh. You understand? I'm a societal human being. Okay, pastor. Pastor, uh -huh. how many times have you been able to give her what she wants in the other room? Mm -hmm. Have you been giving her or you've not been giving her? That is the question. Uh, on that side, um, it's not... I might not call it uh, too much, but at least two or three times. I don't remember. Which a month? Three times a month. Which a month? Two or three times a month. Go yes. to the outside. Wait. Uh, you must be outside. Okay, madam, wait, uh, madam, wait. Please calm down first. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't call you here to come across more commotion. I'm here to settle issue. So you're from your own side of the story. That's why I called you. When your husband told me the whole story, I wasn't really, really comfortable with it, and I don't like drawing conclusion from one sided story. You understand, madam? You are before your husband. Are you sure you are telling me the truth that your husband has been performing the other I'm way? telling you the truth. That is the whole truth. Okay, as a man, like the one is claiming now, three yeah. times a month. I don't mean he has been doing that. Mm -mm. Nobody would even hear my voices. Nobody, no even threat of divorce or anything whatsoever. This thing he's saying is, in fact, eh, you want to make me angry right now. What? Okay. 12, 12. One to twelve in a month, I be uh, in the year, I be twelve yes, months in a year. Yes, I Inside this twelve months, the day you go show me light, oh, four times. Sometimes one month and two weeks is not even town. Moving for one, day. see. Okay, madam, let me ask you Francis, this: Have you been supporting his ministry as a young man? He can attest to that. Is yeah. Fasting, no, is it uh, conducting a uh, um, women, uh, women's meeting in this in the church or organizing women programs in this? Is uh, yeah, Pastor Francis, uh, this is a serious case. I, I would like you to now, please. Uh, she, you are before your uh, your wife. Now, are you telling me that you occupy yourself with the ministry work and forgetting the the primary role of your own family? Mind you, the Bible says charity begins at all. Yes. Before you can serve God well, before you can serve the people out there, you must first settle your immediate family. You must first coordinate your immediate family. Else you cannot serve the people out there. Pastor, please, I would like you to tell me, what is going on? Is it that you have not been performing your duty at home? Uh, the problem is that... Uh... If you are talking about the other room, like I said, I'm performing very well. You are performing very well. I'm performing very well. She has been uh, spoiled by all these uh, uh, roadside friends or other things. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's, the sudden change is even confusing me. She is now can talk to me directly because she is even calling my name, insulting me. Wow, this way. You can see. So the problem is that I like the, this like. No, there's a one serious case of married time. man right. for okay. their own anniversary. Okay, you will bring ministry work. Ask your own anniversary, wedding, a marriage anniversary. Mm -mm. I'm, okay, going right. to yeah. I'm going my to that. My head department served me a letter that my own organization okay. is going down. Okay. People mm. are liquidating. Wow. People are moving out by, because of inactiveness of the church. Okay. So I have to, I have to fast. For you to have the strength of God to do what I can do. You understand? Mm -hmm. I need God's strength. <laughs> and instead of her to be supporting me and moving to ministry up and down, she's here talking about uh, sex and other things. But she says she has oh. been supporting you. I think she has, she has not been yes. supporting you. The, 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 uh, to be frank, she yes. has been supporting me. But the, the, this sudden uh, uh, Valentine case thing come up. Okay. She is not even doing anything. Like the, in the morning, I was just freshen up. She's not even freshen up. I would ask her what's going on. She, mm. uh, she would just frank her face for me and just sight at me, just move away. Uh, uh, what's happening? Okay, madam, uh, come, come close her face. Madam, he's saying that you are using the Valentine case to threaten him of the first case. Why do you, why are you gonna? He said you even that is it. an excuse. It, it's an excuse. It's an excuse. Yeah. Okay, you're talking about Valentine. Okay, that aside, how about your own uh, marriage anniversary? Okay. Eh? Who does that? Not okay, even if you are in a mission or you are out there for the pastoral work or whatsoever, at least you can put a call and okay, babe, sorry, you know I'm this is okay, I'm sending you gifts. At least do something, something must be present. Uh -uh. 
So uh, look at what I did. Okay, guys. Because of uh, I'm not present for us. He was complaining. Mm. According to us, he's complaining. I'm not present. Mm. I'm not active. Give, give so time. I decided to make so a special day. Okay. A special day. Aside the Valentine's Day. Her. Aside the uh, Valentine's Day. Yes. Aside the Valentine's Day. I I decided to make a very special day for her to enjoy herself. She said no. Is it true? I don't what see anything. You don't know, see anything. I don't see anything. You don't know, see anything. I don't see. Oh, uh, 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 Pastor Francis, uh, this matter here, the case here is very complicating. You both are confusing me the more. Uh, my audience out there, please say uh, wherever you're watching this video from, you guys have heard from the both party. I'm confused right now. I don't know what to say. Your wife is saying that you are not fulfilling your marital obligation, and you, you are saying that you are fulfilling your marital obligation. That she's demanding what. It's not viable for your own side. You understand the point? Mm -hmm. So now, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know who is telling the lie. My people are there. Drop your comments. What do you think this family, this husband and wife should do? Look, I don't want a situation where pastor and wife divorce because of Valentine that is coming up. You, madam, please, I'm begging in the name of God. Don't fight. Okay, what do you want us to do at this point? What do you want? I him? want him to change. You want him to change? Yes. What aspect? Let's know. At least let them show me, even if it's little, care, love, and attention. Mm -mm, we have settled. Okay, um, Pastor Franc uh, Francis, you've heard that say she wants you to show that love and care to her. Okay. Aside, give, I don't know, but can you fulfill this aspect? It's very, very important. Uh, if I have to be present for her and everything, I would do it. Uh, but uh, in that case, from there, if uh, the girl calls, uh, I will go. No, uh, but but for Pastor no, Francis, you are complicating the issue here. Which one be God called? Ah. Nobody called by God here. Yeah. What? Which God are call are you waiting for? The, what we are saying is that we are trying to say we can resolve this marital issue. You are talking about God call, God call. Why are you not called by God? Do you call yourself? I'm called by God. Yeah. Yeah. In some, some kind of mini cases, you have to be present with, you have to be there for the people. You understand <sighs> my people I serve the public plan your activities well and have time for me uh -uh. okay my people are there i cannot say any other word than to leave the case for you guys to please drop your advice or oh, please